So my makeup looks way different than it typically does, but I decided that today it would be super fun if I filmed a inspired makeup tutorial by a recent photo that Bex Taylor Klaus was in where her makeup was like so cool. Like it honestly reminds me of like almost like a superhero like makeup. I don't even know how to ex explain it, but okay. So here is the photo of her makeup. I will also insert it on the screen somewhere because obviously you can't see it very well from my phone and obviously her makeup in the picture is way better than mine but I was like why not do something fun and try to do an inspired look by this makeup so I thought it'd be fun to do it so we're gonna go ahead and do this this is not like an by any means something I would say that you would want to like wear to school because that probably wouldn't work um <laughs> But it's so fun and who doesn't like to put on some cool makeup and act like do something crazy and feel like you're like acting and like you're somebody else for a little while. So that's what I'm doing. Super fun. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and I will see you all later. So starting off with this look, I'm going to be using a soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm using this kind of mostly on the inner part of the eye, working it towards the outer portion. Um, you know, and then I'm going to go in with a black color tattoo from Maybelline and I'm going to use this on the outer portion of my eyelid. And I'm using this here just to create a more of a dark base because we're going to be using black eyeshadow. However, if you don't have a black powder eyeshadow and you have a cream eyeshadow like this, this will do because Bex's look was actually glossy. I just chose to use powder eyeshadows instead. Um, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to use a skin toned eyeshadow just to help things blend through the crease better and then I'm going to go in with Corrupt from Makeup Geek and this is the black eyeshadow that I'm going to be using for the entire tutorial. I'm going to start by packing it onto where I put the color tattoo previously. So packing it onto the outer portion of my eyelid and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the blue eyeshadow. This is Poolside from Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this on the inner portion of the eye. Bex's blue was a little bit of a different color than this one. Um, I actually don't have all my makeup on me at my house right now so I just used what I had. So I'm basically going to pack this on the other half of the lid so that it's even. So we've got one half black and one half blue. Now I'm going to go in with a 217 brush from MAC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my eye and I'm going to look forward. Her eye look was very square and straight across on the top so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to draw a straight line with the blue when I'm looking forward so I can see how far up in my crease it's going to go. And then I just keep adding color until I get the desired look. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the black still using a 217 brush from MAC and the black is pretty messy and um, I just kind of went with it. I did some cleanup later, which you guys will see, but I'm just drawing out this black line, extending it towards where my eyebrow would end, and trying to give it some messy, textured look to the outside. I also used that 217 brush just to bring the black a little bit farther into the blue, so it had a little bit of a mix, and it added a little bit more drama to the eye, and then I just went through and tried to make it a little bit more messy, however, I did have to clean it up, and I ended up doing it a little bit differently, which you'll see later, but I just wanted to show you all of the steps that I took to achieve this look. So using my 217 brush, I tried to drag the black under my eye, and I ended up switching my brush out but I just use this just to continue the black under the eye and keep it looking dramatic and smoky then I switch to a pencil brush just to draw it all the way under the eye and I really like the way the pencil brush worked a lot better than the 217 Here I went in with a makeup wipe and I tried to square off the edges of my eye so I could go back in and add the extra messiness to it because I was not liking the brush that I was using. The 217 was not working for that. So I went back in with a pencil brush and added that smudged out kind of messy look to it that made the look so unique and awesome. So I did that on both sides and I just wanted to show you how I did it and I just used the black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and seriously the pencil brush works so much better so I definitely would recommend that. So then I went in with the blue and I did that on the inner part of my lower lash line like Bex had in the picture. Also Bex's makeup artist, I will link her um, 
Twitter down below. Um, and then I went ahead and I used Wim, no, what did I use? I used Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek, and I put that on the inner portion of the eye, just for the inner corner. So then I went in with my eyeliner, I'm using Blacker from um, Mar Marc Jacobs, and I put that on my waterline, and I also put that on my tight line, which is honestly like almost painful to watch me do. Like it doesn't hurt, but it just looks like it does. I'm like rethinking putting this clip in because it just looks painful. So then I applied the Tarte Gifted Mascara because Bex didn't appear to have super thick looking eyelashes and more like natural. Um, and then because her face makeup seemed very minimal, I just used um, a sculpting powder from MAC which was in the color Sculpt and I just used that lightly kind of as a bronzer. And then I used um, this blush from Tarte which is Beaming which is a nice light blush that doesn't take away from the intense eye look. Um, I did not use any highlight because in the picture it didn't seem like Bex had a very highlighted face. It seemed very matte, so I went ahead and stuck with that. The lip color that I chose to use was a very neutral looking lip color. I believe it's Caramello from Stila. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't ever show what I was using. But just a nice nude lip because that's what Bex appeared to have. And that, my friends, is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe. And I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.